Hey guys, it's Miranda back with another video. So this is going to be a part of our like vacation vlog video. So I don't have very much clips of me telling you what we're doing, but what I do have is a bunch of clips of like actually doing the things. So I thought I would sit here and talk about what we did, go through the trip, and then I'll insert the clips of the stuff that we actually did because I had no idea how else I would kind of set up this video with the clips that I got. But I thought the vacation vlog stuff was super fun. So first we left Tuesday and it took us like six hours to get to Destin um, with stopping. We're, we were from the New Orleans area. So we went to Cracker Barrel on our way there. I love Cracker Barrel. We kind of feel like Cracker Barrel is like the go-to like trip um, thing because they're just like in every state and we live in the South. So every time we go somewhere, we stop at Cracker Barrel and we love, I like to get their breakfast and my husband will usually get like something, like I think he got country fried steak or something like that. And I got like pancake breakfast. So, and I split mine with Ari. He loves pancakes, so, um. Baby rocking chair. Oh. Are you putting them in here? Yes. No. Good job. He's just having a blast with this, huh? What color is that one? Uh-oh. Can you tell me what color that one is? Orange. Blue. White. We are on our way to Destin, so this is gonna be like a little vacay vlog type of thing. So um yeah, we the Ari's been amazing. The first couple of hours he uh took a little nap and then played, and then we just got out and ate at Cracker Barrel. For some reason, Cracker Barrel is like a trip thing for me. We always get it when we're on a trip. So we saw the Cracker Barrel and had, me and Ari had pancakes for breakfast. And um, my husband, Saros, he had some uh, chicken fried steak, right? Yes, yeah. Chicken yes. fried steak and shrimps. And then, um, yeah, we're back on the road now. I just read Saros' books and then he passed out. So hopefully he'll be fresh when we get there. Oh, and earlier uh, I was driving, so um, my husband's the one that was playing with Ari. So we switched because, you know, it's nice when you have multiple people to take a break from driving. So, yeah, it's his turn, and we'll be there in, like, an hour and a half, and we'll get to go on the beach. We're super excited. So this is our room. It's pretty nice. Then we have our bathroom and then like a coffee place. A living room, a whole other living room. Then at nighttime, we we got well we got there at like 5 p.m. and then we went to they had like snacks and drinks in the bar so we went down there and got some snacks and drinks and it was like for free with our hotel with our what we paid for with our hotel and then we went to Winn Dixie. And we got a few things because I want to eat out like every single day. So we went and got some sandwiches and stuff. And then <clears throat> that night we went out to eat to the cutest little restaurant. 
I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what it was called. But um, it was like right on the beach. So we sat at this cute little table and the window was completely open, like no screen or anything. And the sand was like right next to us. It's kind of like we were outside. We wanted to eat outside, but they didn't have any more seating outside. And so when we were waiting for our food, Ari got to go out and play um, in the sand. And um, our food came and we got like a platter of seafood, which we get here. It's not a big deal, but we just decided that's what we were going to get. And we got fried pickles with it. <laughs> Ari, throw it again. That was cute. And then the next day, you're like, Miranda, you're on the beach. Aren't you going to be laying on the beach? No, that's not what we did that day. So Wednesday, we woke up and we went to the uh, golf area they have there. So it's the aquarium, like golf aquarium. And they have all the animals from the golf. And we got to saw a see. We got to see a beautiful dolphin show. I'm going to put some videos of that but they were like jumping and stuff me and my husband super enjoyed it Ari was being terrible he hated just like sitting still you know he was happy for the first few jumps and then after that he was like yeah the dolphins jump and he was just like wanting to move around and get up so he was also tired so we did that we went around we saw all that animals and then Ari passed out like the minute we put him in his car seat so like clearly he was kind of tired probably from like the day before and all the excitement of being on a trip but then we went to some souvenir shops and I got to carry Ari around in my little kangaroo
Moe, Moe Carrier, which he hasn't done that in a long time. Like, he will do it whenever he's sleeping, but he doesn't really want to do it whenever he's awake. You know, he wants to run around and stuff. But I was super happy that he did it. I got pictures and because if it's the last time, you know, you kind of want to remember the last time because, you know, you never really know the last something's going to be the last time that it is. And then you're like super sad about it. And so I'm very glad that I kind of like, you know, like breathed it in and felt felt the moment. And um, we had to wait for Ari to get a t-shirt because we got him a little t-shirt. But I like kind of like rubbed his back and just enjoyed the like 15 minutes of sitting there holding him in our little kangaroo pouch. And we shopped around and we got a cute little um, sweatshirt and a little cute little outfit uh, that matched the sweatshirt. And yeah, the, the shirt with his name on it and the shark. I'll uh, try and get pictures and then I'll insert them in here. And then later, we, uh, well, after that, we went back to the hotel and we went swimming. And it was Ari's first time in, like, a real pool. And it was so much fun. He, like, we got him to jump off the side and I caught him. And he was wearing a life jacket the whole time. So, um, but he was kind of scared at first. And then he just got excited and it was a lot of fun. And then after that, he refused to take a nap. We tried to get him to take another nap because his first nap was little. But we went, it went, we knew we were going to be taking pictures that night. So we tried to get him to take another nap, but he didn't. Um, so after that, we went to uh, the beach to take like beach sunset pictures. And it was beautiful. I might try to throw a few of those in here if I get them before I post this video. But, um, yeah, so that was super fun. We took pictures of the three of us. We took some pictures of just him. And we took some pictures of just me and my husband because we don't have any of those anymore. Because, you know, we're always taking pictures with Ari. And then after that, we went home for the night. And I think we ate sandwiches or some leftovers. I think I ate a sandwich and my husband ate leftover. So, um... Oh, how could I forget? We got Indian for lunch. We got You're going to eat some yummy food, huh? Do you want more lushy? No? Done, done? We got Indian for lunch. Um, we saw a place that had momos, which is something that uh, my husband grew up eating momos. He's from Nepal, if you guys didn't know, anybody who didn't know. But momos is something he grew up eating, and this little Indian restaurant had momos, so we thought we would go there. So we went there. And so my husband ended up eating leftovers of that for dinner. And I ate a sandwich. I can't eat stuff like that or, like, red sauce at night because I'll get a heartburn. So I have to eat it at lunch. So, like, red sauces and stuff, uh, like tomato stuff. And then... What's next? What do we do next? Oh, we went to sleep. And then the next day, we hung out on the beach basically all day. I was feeling a little sick, so we brought him to the doctor that morning to a little urgent care place. And um, they're like, yeah, it's just a little virus. So we just went to the beach um, in the morning. You know, we didn't get next to anybody, so we thought it was fine. And then we... Um, Came in for lunch and ate more leftovers and sandwiches. And then went back out to the beach in the evening. And then came back and ate more sandwiches. What you got, Ari? Umbrella? An umbrella?
Look at you guys! Oh, your shit! All that. And then at night, we tried to watch a little bit of the uh, Lion King, but Ari was just not having any of it. So we ended up just putting him to sleep. And then the next day, we kind of just packed everything up. We did it like a slow morning, really enjoyed breakfast. They had delicious breakfast at the hotel. Um, they had a buffet, and then they also had like a make your own omelets and stuff. And I love like a bagel with cream cheese with like an egg on it and stuff. And so that's what I got every day, and it was delicious. And then What you got? You got a cake pop? Oh, that's for mama. Yeah, we drove back home. We stopped at Starbucks on the way home because I really enjoy Starbucks. And we didn't really get out or do anything. Ari wasn't feeling that great. So, yeah, that's our whole trip. We really enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. And then... We got home and Ari was feeling better so we went to soccer practice it was super fun and then I worked the next two days so today is the third day after the trip and I'm trying to like do all the laundry and get everything unpacked and like clean the house and I went to the grocery store this morning to try and kind of like restock the house because it's craziness like we have no groceries everything's a mess um because you know I just went straight to work for two days after the trip so yeah i'm kind of just trying to get back to life in a clean house so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye